Gemini. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great weekend. We are going to get into your reading. You know to never force anything to fit. It is a general reading. So there are going to be messages for you that you feel drawn to receive. I always encourage you to watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement sign readings for additional clarity and similarity. I'm giving away three free personal love readings for the month of June. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. My name is Sam, and I do welcome you to my channel. New and returning subscribers, leave a vacation emoji down below in the comment section. Whatever you feel is a vacation to you, or the word vacation. Um, at the end of this month, I will randomly choose those three people to win, and I will remind you at the end of the month to check your notifications, those that participated. Like I said, three people will be hearing from me. These giveaways are each and every month. Strength. We're going to pull the overall energy surrounding this love reading. Overcoming. Learning hard um, lessons and wisdom through the things that you have needed to be strong through. You know, broken heart. Things not working out the way you had anticipated. Maybe as a little girl you had dreamed your, or a little boy, you had dreamed your future in terms of love to be so much different. And it for some of you, you're disappointed in the way things turned out. But that strength helps you evolve and grow. All right, we have Hermit. So we have Leo, Virgo energy so far. Spending some time in solitude, and it's okay to do that. When you spend in so time in solitude, so much soul growth, spiritual growth, possibly an awakening, really be, being true and honest with yourself about what you want, what's going to make you happy. You have to realize you're the common denominator, Gemini, in every single relationship. You're also the one that matters. So what is going to make you happy? Receiving amazing messages from our spirit guides within the hermit energy. Knight of Wands, somebody's coming in very passionate for you. Very passionate. But they're showing up as a knight. So we'll see what happens in the rest of the um, reading. This person with it being fire energy. Second strongest or se second fastest moving energy of the deck. So it's coming in sooner than later. There it is. I was going to say let's see what comes with this. Because sometimes I get nervous with the knight type energy. You know, pe you know people come in very quick. Love the connection, love the um, companionship, but sometimes moves away from a relationship or commitment. But you can trust what this person is saying. Archangel Michael showing up with the Ace of Swords. So this is the best breakthrough of all. Honesty, long term, successful. All right, let's get into it deeper. All right, Spirit, what else do you have for Gemini? Look at that. Closing out a cycle. Your love life is gaining momentum. I have to say, I feel someone who might have taken this connection lightly or ran away from it or wasn't ready for commitment is coming in, yes. If you had specifically someone on your mind, the answer is yes. You are becoming unstuck. Moving past the barrier, past the silence. There's an energy shift here. Sometimes all we can do, because life is a mystery, all we can do is focus on ourselves. Believe in ourselves and the magic that we bring into other people's lives. Those seeds that we've planted, 
how much effort we put into relationships and ourself. Just beyond these walls, which, which feels like they're closing in Gemini, is the light, the light at the end of the tunnel. And the answer is yes. Breaking free from, like I said, the silence. Do stick around to the very end. I'm going to get messages from this person to you. Plus, I'm also going to pull from multiple decks for clarity. For my Gemini spirit. Death. So there was an ending. Six of Wands. Somebody might have acted out of fear and ego. That is the Knight of Wands type energy. I feel this person is coming in very confident though. Where they lacked wanting to be in a commitment and could be some things that they have dealt with that made them lack the confidence. It's like they've worked through that. They might be well known, may have their own business, like a public figure of some sort, maybe an internet figure. The Eight of Wands and Judgment. Yes, there is communication coming in and it is divinely guided. This rapid change is divinely guided. King of Wands in the very center of the reading. So like I said, not only do they have um, a, a very distinct attraction about them, they're very unique. It's like they are definitely not a follower. They stand out from the rest. They are a leader. As I said, they may be an entrepreneur. And there is going to, like I said, there is going to be rapid change. Spirit, why death and the six of wands? Strong Leo energy here. Aries, Sagittarius. And then we have Scorpio so far. Yes. Evolving through the death card. Internal transformation. An ending that needed to happen to bring in change. And it's leading to wish fulfillment. Like I said, they're coming in very confident. Why the Six of Wands and the King of Wands spirit? Okay, we'll take it. The Three of Pentacles. Wanting to do it together. Wanting to work on it as a team. And the Knight of Cups. Yeah, they're coming in to sweep you off your feet. They're going to be very creative about how they approach you. I got to say, for some of you, it's an awakening that leads to a proposal. You might have met them through business or work. And why the King of Wands? Look at this. Knight of Wands to the King of Wands. So there's definitely an increase and what they want. What you know, what they're willing to compromise and fight for. High Priestess and the Page of Wands. Gemini, this person has fallen for you. The opportunity is coming. When they come towards you, like I said, it's going to be very trustworthy what they say. Um, it may be a small offer with it coming in as a page, but they want to see how receptive that you are to them. It's like a message in a bottle. Like I said, I am feeling proposal. I am feeling long term. They want to nurture this connection with you. I also feel for some of you, not only distinctively is this one person coming in, you may be talking to someone or have someone else around you, possibly dating or getting to know when this person resurfaces. 
Let's see. I'm pulling out the OG tarot deck. You don't see me use this often. You can tell from how weathered it is that this was one of my first decks. And I'm just, I open, I, I got cards everywhere, decks everywhere. I think my fiance wants to kill me sometimes. But I opened my drawer and this just stared at me. And I was like, you know what? In my dark time, I used this deck to try to do my own readings on myself. But I was letting my emotions get the best of me. And I just feel bonded to this deck. Right, Spirit for Gemini. Two of Cups. The Devil. See? Whether they were codependent, um, misleading, said things, but their actions didn't, didn't meet up with their words. That is night... Knight of Wands type energy. Um, they're overcoming that. And that's why they're coming in as a king. Right, so what else do you have for Gemini? I gotta say it's a successful closing of a chapter. Yes. Successfully moving forward. For those of you that will term this person as a player. They're leaving that behind them. You sparked like an emotional, feeling emotionally content. And being in that Virgo hermit energy is where they're realizing, you know what? I really do care for Gemini. This is real. I want to offer them my whole heart. Strong water and strong earth energy here. But I am definitely picking up on proposal, um, long-term offer. They want to heal with you. So where it feels stuck, Gemini, you're going to break through that barrier with them. Spirit, please clarify Gemini's reading. This connection is gaining momentum. The unawakened has awakened. Yeah. We keep replaying the same story over and over again and it never ends well. When are we going to do better so that we can be better for each other? That's that cycle right there, closing out. Gaining momentum in the right direction. And they're coming in. Like I said, it's going to be a small offer. But it's going to evolve. Whatever kept them in denial. And you'll know better than I will for your person what that is. Because it's going to be different for each one of you. What that kept this person in denial is they're evolving through that. They go to like send you a message. I just got the vision of them like going to text you and send you a message. And then they delete it. A couple days later they're thinking about you. Something reminds them of you and they go to text you again then they delete it but there is going to be a divinely guided moment Archangel Michael remember showing up where they don't delete it we're against you know against the odds of their fear interfering they're going to send it and then it's like they're then their hands are going to start like trembling because they can't believe they send it but it's that moment that you both need All right, spirit. I'm longing for a way. I'm looking for a way out of this situation so I can be free for you. I want to hold you in my arms and feel our bodies unite as one. Yes. I'm realizing this connection is something special and worth fighting for. And finally, of course, it fell on the floor. All right. I daydream about you. Sometimes it's sexual. Other times, I envision our future together. Like I said, a proposal. Gemini, who is this? 
Let me know, let me know. A L U S I O H J blank scrabble tile D. All right. Leave a vacation emoji down below or the word vacation anytime you want me to head out um anytime you want me to tune into just your energy, possibly someone that you're thinking about. Click on the link in the description box. It'll take you right over to my Etsy shop. It is at limited availability for now, but there are readings, um, personal readings that I'm offering. So you can head over there and check that out. So much love and light, guys. Continue to have a great weekend.